Hello, YouTube land. <laughs> this is July 18th, and it's my birthday today. Seriously? Yes. Birthday? I am 33 years old. Been on this planet for 33 years, doing hmm, God knows what. And decided, you know, I've never really been big on celebrating my birthday. And, uh, well, this year, my soul sister kind of seeded the idea in me about coming to this place near Hamilton in Ontario where there is a, a family that owns a piece of property on a native reserve and on this property they're building an earth ship which feel free to google that if you don't know what an earth ship is but I'm going to show you what that looks like in a, in a minute but um, anyways the whole reason why this kind of uh, felt nice and appropriate is because I never really like celebrating my birthday as like, oh, it's today about me or whatnot. Um, but what my friend who brought me here showed me is that it can be about community. So it's not just about ourselves, but sharing ourselves, our gifts, and to um, what people are putting together, you know, with their combined effort. And this uh, I'm going to show you here is really a beautiful example of that. Here's the distance shot. So there it is. Those are a lot of tires that have been stacked and hammered in with a lot of soil to create thermal mass to create a home that is going to be able to hold in heat throughout a winter. So it's going to be completely self-sustaining, not needing any electricity to actually you know, power it because they'll be using solar technology and they won't be needing heating or cooling because of the actual infrastructure of the house designed in a way that allows the appropriate airflow and all that good stuff that I don't fully know how to explain. So I'm going to go show a little bit of a close-up into the work that they're doing uh, for you know, a huge, amazing grassroots project here on this reserve for a self-sustaining home. So here we are, close to the foundation of the earth ship. And I'm just gonna get up the hill here. So as you can see, these tires are stacked and nailed together. And they're compacted with so much soil that they actually expand to a lot more of what the normal size would be like. And then they're going to be covered with adobe, I believe. And that is going to be, and you, the cool thing about that is you can really shape the walls to be however you like them to be. It doesn't have to be just a straight, flat, whatever wall. And then over here is going to be the main part of the home, which is, uh, uh, they have already created the wall for. It's, it's uh, cement, concrete, again, things that will be able to hold on to a lot of heat. Because Canadian winters are definitely not gentle. And they're going to be putting up some pillars with I believe cedar wood and just creating a, st a structure with that. It's, I believe 3,200 square feet is the area that they're covering here. So it's, it's quite a feat and that they've done this much already with little help is quite amazing. So it's climbing up to the top of the ship here. They go through a lot of effort to make sure that these things are leveled and filled up and it's a lot of work. Uh, yeah. We just put some of these in there just to uh, help make the uh, concrete bond to the, uh, the tires. Okay. So we'll just stick it in at home. Ten or so. So whenever you're using concrete, the concrete will just kind of slide off the rubber. If you don't have something for it to bond to. So, we remedy that with a couple of dozen screws, just like so. Yeah, if you did. Absolutely. Yeah, put the cement in, put the water in, turn her on, mix her up. Um, How much? So they also use cement to fill in some of the gaps. of the action, which involves a lot of pounding and diligent effort. Uh, 
Okay to dump this in there? Just yeah, yeah, it, it'll be all right. Yeah, for sure. Um, what about maybe five more screws in wherever you can? I would do about 30 seconds of this at hardcore speed and take a 20 minute break. <laughs> I applaud your efforts. Yeah, Nivaldo's on his like third or fifth tire in the last like, hour. I don't want to say fifth, but. <laughs> I'm looking at the fence line. They use cement to fill in some of the gaps that the tires don't fully, when they don't fully touch. There you go, sir. Alright. And they've been also tr been tractoring a lot of soil into the area. Which is what is being used for filling up the tires. And there you go, folks. An Earthship project in the. Milo. It's okay, Milo. So, and I had to. Thanks for bringing me and bringing together a couple of other people to help these this family creating their foundational project. You're welcome. It was a pleasure. Um, oh, that's enough. This was really not much of planning. It was just let's get a bunch of people together who want to make a difference and learn how to be a part of building a self-sustaining home. And here we are building this incredible earthship. We're getting dirty, we're sweating in the sun and you know we're just working together as a community and um, yeah we're inspiring each other. This is an inspiration. You look around and you realize, yeah, it's a lot of work, but it's so worth it. It's your home, and you're not going to have to worry about bills and all the other nonsense that, you know, that we're conditioned to believe is is reality. The reality is we can live in alignment with Mother Earth, so this is where we are today. Hopefully, uh, what Joelle is sharing with you and what we're sharing with you inspires you to take action and instead of bitching and complaining about how shitty the system is and you know how you don't want to live this life and you know you didn't come here to slave away slave away and pay bills and you know complain about how much money you don't have in your account you're here to live in alignment with mother earth and you know express your unique creativity absolutely express your creativity your uniqueness and um be happy so liberate yourself think about this there's all sorts of options yeah this is a big job earthships are you know it's not easy but it's worth it there's also other you know self-sustaining homes at homes out there they have those like tiny little homes that you can get solar panels and you can make a difference so it's just baby steps you know this was the thought and now it's uh now it's now an it's emerging happening. reality it is and it's and it's beautiful and yeah. one of the things to to consider is we're so used to being walled away inside homes and cities but one of the things that this uh, a land like this opens up is the possibilities of people integrating back into living in community and can you imagine having your children growing in an environment where everybody can help teach them and they're not being indoctrinated to what a system wants you to believe is true and real mm. yes i can yeah. <laughs> that's my plan to live in an earthship community wherever it is and raise my children um you know respecting and honoring and living in alignment with mother earth so and this is what this is what my big plan is so hopefully you can all be inspired thank you Beautiful. namaste thank you well folks we're going to sign off the land adios